Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be evaluating cosine of i times pi. Do you think this is a complex number, an imaginary number or a real number? Now, to be able to evaluate this, we're going to take advantage of Euler's formula. And in the lecture videos, we talked about this in length, but let's go ahead and take a look at it again. So Euler's formula gives us a really nice relationship between sine, cosine, and the exponential function. So we can write e to the power ix as cosine x plus i times sine x. Now, we're going to use this expression to solve for cosine, but we do need another equation. So we're going to do that by replacing x with negative x. So we're going to get e to the power negative x equals cosine of negative x plus i sine of negative x. So cosine is an even function. Cosine of negative x is the same as cosine of x. And sine is an odd function. Sine of negative x is the opposite of sine x, which is negative sine x. So now we got two equations, e to the negative ix and e to the ix, and we're going to add them. By adding them, we're able to get rid of sine and end up with 2 cosine x equals e to the power negative ix plus e to the power ix divided by 2 because I want to isolate cosine x. Great. So we were able to express cosine x in terms of our exponential e to the power something. Now what we need to do is replace x with i theta. I mean i pi. Okay. So what happens if you do that? Set x equal to i pi we get cosine of i pi equals e to the power negative i times i pi plus e to the power i times i pi divided by 2. As you know, i times i is i squared, and i squared is equal to negative 1. Remember that? We talked about this before, right? So using that uh, identity or equation, the value of i squared, we can go ahead and write this as cosine of i pi equals e to the power pi plus e to the power negative pi divided by 2. So it turns out this expression is actually a real number. So that's pretty interesting. A lot of interesting things happen with complex numbers, and this is just one of them. You take the cosine of an imaginary number and guess what? You do get a real answer. All right? So let's go ahead and see what that value looks like from Wolfram Alpha's perspective. So here's our number, e to the power negative pi plus e to the power pi all over 2 is approximately 11.8. 5919532755215201520 so on and so forth and it is just a transcendental number a special category of irrational numbers and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye